There are three ways, and you might remember what the three ways are. We're going to do them all on the board. There are three ways you can change a shape so that, transform a shape, so that it still has the same size and still has the same shape, okay? I wonder if you remember what the three are. Who wants to give me a hand up to give me the first transformation? Someone, Melanie, can you give me the first one? Rotation. All right, let's go. Number one. Now, if you have these in a different order, that's totally okay. Um, we're going to do all three in whichever order. Okay. Now, before, hands down for a second. Before we go on to the other ones, rotation is our technical name for this. What's a simpler name? A simpler. Okay, you can do turn, right? Or, if you like, there's another one. Uh, if I, I would probably say spin. Either of these would be acceptable as talking about exactly the same thing. So, let's all draw. <laughs> if you'd like, you can draw a different letter, but I think R's are quite nice. If I draw it here, I could rotate, turn, spin around. How am I going to do it? I'm going to rotate it here. Like that. Okay. There we go. So, draw me a shape. Now you can see rotation, right? It needs a place. Where am I rotating around? Okay. So you can see on my pair of R's, right, there is one point that hasn't moved anywhere, right? So for instance, see this point? It's moved all the way over here. See this point? It's moved all the way over here. Where's the point that hasn't moved? Yeah, Manoa. How would we describe it? Can we describe it? There's a corner. Which corner is it? There's a couple of corners. Bottom left corner. Bottom left corner. Good. So I've got it right there. You see that? That's my, uh, that's my point of rotation, okay? I could have rotated it elsewhere. I could have rotated it around here. I would have got a different shape. The point is though, same size, same shape. I could move it back and it'd still be fine. Okay, number one was rotation. Number two, someone give me another one. Okay, Adam. Slide. Sliding, okay, so slide is one of our informal words. What's our technical name for sliding? Yeah, take back. Translation, very good. Translation. Okay, so draw yourself another R or letter of choice. So for instance, this R here, if I simply move it to the right, okay, like so. I just moved it over. In fact, let's add some extra things here, right? I'm going to indicate my translation with an arrow. It's a straight arrow. I've got a straight arrow for translation. What kind of arrow would I have over here? Curved. Yeah, a curved one. It's going around like this, right? So you can see that rotation. Okay, last one. I think we'll be able to fit it just over here. Number three, hands up. Who doesn't say anything? Jordan. Flip. Flip. Okay, so flip is one of our nice simple words. What's our technical word for it, Brandon? Reflection. Reflection. Excellent. <laughs> So this is what we're doing what about mirror? in a mirror. Okay, so mirror is also <laughs> another um, word we could use. It's less common, but it's okay. That's what mirrors do. So let's put our last letter up. Now if I put, uh, there we go, that letter there, okay? I'm going to reflect it, flip it, mirror it mirror. downwards. Okay, so I'm going to get a shape out this stays. Like this. Oh, no, that's not right. Yeah. Wrong way around, sorry. That's better. Oh. Oh. There's a fire rule. Oh. Oh. Alright, now, here's an interesting thing, right? See how well we rotate it? We rotate it around a point. We rotate it around a point. But when you reflect, you don't reflect uh, around a point. You don't even reflect across a point. You're reflecting across a line, right? In fact, I have my ruler here. You can see the line I'm reflecting is right here. Do you see that? Oops, stay. There we go. Okay. So this is the line and I reflect across it. If you like, this would be kind of like where the mirror is. Okay. We're going to indicate that just like we did with these others with a line. Okay, but I'm going to draw a dotted line across the middle, like that. Okay. Often also called an axis of reflection. Right. Rotation, translation, reflection. 
um, you're going to see a series of shapes and you're going to be um, changing them, identifying which kind of transformation is used. Okay? Now one last thing before we um, leave off of this. Okay? Do you notice that some of these transformations can be combined in different ways to give the others? Example, I know I need to move this more, I'll see if I can fit it. Okay? I want you to imagine this reflection. See, I've just reflected it. What if I reflected it again, a similar way, downwards again? Okay. So if I reflected it here, for instance, can you see I do reflect once, and then I do reflect twice? Do you see it? But if I consider my first and last shapes, what kind of transformation is that? It's not a reflection at all, is it? It's a, it's a translation, right? Can you see it's just, if I take away this middle guy, all I'm left with is a translation. It's just slid downwards. Okay. So I can combine two reflections in order to get a translation. Okay. I can go a little further than that. For instance, I'm going to do another reflection, but this time I'm going to go in a different direction. Okay. For instance, if I reflect this guy and reflect him instead of downwards, if I reflect him to the left, Have a look at that, okay? Now, I reflect once downwards, then I reflect a second time to the left. Again, I'm going to take out the middle man. What kind of transformation is that? Yeah. Rotation and translation. That's, uh, that's actually, uh, hold on, I'm a bit inaccurate. You get the idea. If I move this up just a little so you can see, that's just a rotation, isn't it? In fact, it's this rotation if I kept going a bit further. Right? I've rotated 90 degrees here. If I rotated another 90 degrees, I'd end here. Okay? So reflection is kind of cool. Depending on the which way you reflect, you'll get maybe a translation or maybe a rotation. Right? So you can combine them in different ways.